the calamities by land and sea, the unsettled state of society, the alarms of war are portentous. They forecast approaching events of the greatest magnitude. The agencies of evil are combining their forces and consolidating. They are strengthening for the last great crisis. Great changes are soon to take place in our world and the final movements will be rapid ones. The time of trouble which is to increase until the end is very near at hand. We have no time to lose. The world is stirred with the spirit of war. The prophecies of the 11th of Daniel have almost reached their final fulfillment. The time of trouble, trouble such as was not since there was a nation, Daniel 12, 1, is right upon us and we are like the sleeping virgins. We are to awake and ask the Lord Jesus to place underneath us his everlasting arms and carry us through the time of trial before us. The world is becoming more and more lawless. Soon great trouble will arise among the nations, trouble that will not cease until Jesus comes. We are on the very verge of the time of trouble and perplexities that are scarcely dreamed of are before us. We are standing on the threshold of the crisis of the ages. In quick succession, the judgments of God will follow one another, fire, flood, and earthquake with war and bloodshed. There are stormy times before us, but let us not utter one word of unbelief or discouragement. The nations are in unrest, Times of perplexity are upon us. Jesus declares there shall be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations. Strange and eventful history is being recorded in the books of heaven. Events which it was declared should shortly precede the great day of God. Everything in the world is in an unsettled state. The labor unions are quickly stirred to violence if their demands are not complied with. Plainer and plainer is it becoming that the inhabitants of the world are not in harmony with God. In every mob, wicked angels are at work, rousing men to commit deeds of violence. The perversity and cruelty of men will reach such a height that God will reveal himself in his majesty. Very soon, the wickedness of the world will have reached its limit. And as in the days of Noah, God will pour out his judgments and deeds of violence, tell the story that the end of all things is at hand. Now, just now, we need to be preparing for the Lord's second coming. The enemy has worked, and he is working still. He is coming down in great power, and the Spirit of God is being withdrawn from the earth. And these very things will increase until the close of this earth's history. The earth's crust will be rent by the outbursts of the elements concealed in the bowels of the earth. These elements, once broken loose, will sweep away the treasures of those who for years have been adding to their wealth. The waters of the deep will overflow their boundaries. Property and life will be destroyed by fire and flood. We should be preparing for the mansions that Christ has gone to prepare for them that love him.